It's summer break here at Leibencroft. Welcome back to the channel and to our home and family. Parker and Anna are doing a little bit of cleanup on the flower beds along the main drive, and they have got Archer out helping them to do their work. He's a really great gardener. And he loves to supervise. And what I likes even more than supervising is getting to ride in the Ranger. He's so happy getting to ride. Yay, guess what, Gracie? It is time to feed your Indians their first real food. All right, you can come out. There we go, come on, Gracie. There we go. And so, how we do this is we all take and push the shavings back out of the way. Get a nice big area that doesn't have any shavings in because this is kind of a messy operation. Here we go. All right. So here we are have the components of our basic first puppy food. We've modified this over the decades and this seems to work about right for puppies that are about three, three and a half weeks. So in our bowl here, we have just our standard science diet puppy. And there's about one cup in there. And then we use a Petlac, um, the more expensive stuff that's called Espelac. This is just a cheaper version of it. And it's just basically milk replacement for puppies. And Anna's my helper today. So um, we're gonna put th four scoops of Petlac in there. and then you want to get your hot water and this is just hot tap water it's not boiling it's not something strange okay then we're going to go over here and we're going to add some water to it we got it. and we're going to add just about enough to Just enough to, we want it to be fairly runny at this point. Because not only are we trying to teach them to eat, we're also trying to teach them to drink. So go ahead and stir that up on it. Now we don't want to let this hot mixture sit for very long because it'll get the yeast that's in the dog food to growing and that's what we don't want to do. If it was winter time, we'd preheat our bowls these are stainless steel puppy pans. We preheat them, but this time of year it's still about 80 degrees outside, so it's plenty warm enough. So we'll just divide this between the two pans, and the coolness of the pans will bring that hot temperature of that down. There we go, and then divide the puppy food between both groups. Yeah. 
and just spread that out and even them up in the pans. Alright Donna, grab the pan and it's off to feed the puppies. And we go. All right, go and get your puppies. And to begin with, we're just going to introduce them that there's something in the bowl. Over the decades, we've kind of learned that. You can really try to push them earlier before three weeks, but they generally are not going to take off eating. And it's more of a struggle. At this point, they're starting to get less from Gracie, and they'll be ready to eat a little bit more. He says, hey, don't forget me. Well, I'd say our students here are doing really good. There are others like found over here on them. Well, I would say for our first time at a dinner plate, everyone is doing phenomenal. Even some people are more pushier than others, but every every dining table's got that situation. So we can clean everybody up. Yeah, just the mildly soapy water. Put put down few in there where Anna's at, and Anna's gonna step out here. Yeah, the one who got your tummy full. And welcome to our little bit of garden that we have here at Lebencroft. And this is our strawberry beds. And a little bit about the history. Um, the founder of all the dogs, Orville, um, he also raised strawberries and took them by wagon and straight truck into Indianapolis. And what would a garden not be if you didn't have a few tomatoes? Do you 
used to be a joke with all of us grandkids, great grandkids picking strawberries and great grandpas. It was, uh, if you got your picking done early in the morning, then you could go fishing in the afternoon. Uh, Parker and Anna don't really ascribe to that fishing thing too much, but we try to get most of our garden chores done before the day gets too hot.
Sarcel always likes to see if they've left anything behind that she might be able to scavenge around. Look at all those beautiful strawberries. Job well done, guys. Minus one or two, of course. Today is the day of toys and mirrors. Hope you've enjoyed your time here with us this week at Lebencroft. And from all of our family, both four-legged and two, we look forward to seeing you next week here to check in and see what all the latest things are that are happening here at Lebencroft. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and push the notification button so you get all the latest updates. See you next week. <laughs>